The only signs that there's something special about Loch Moor in the Scottish Highlands are a few modest concrete buildings on its western shore and some telltale ripples on the surface of its blue waters. This, however, is part of the Foyers Pumped Storage Power Station. Such schemes have played a key role in UK electricity supply for decades, but power companies say growth in the use of renewable energy means the nation now needs more of them. The idea behind pump storage is simple. A large pipe set under Loch Moor's surface runs more than three kilometres through the mountains down to two turbines dug deep into the rock beside Loch Ness. When the grid has spare electricity, the turbines pump water up to be stored in Loch Moor. When power is needed, the water flows back down to Loch Ness, generating up to 300 megawatts of electricity. An important advantage is the system's ability to rapidly respond to changes in demand and supply. What you're seeing here really is the main shaft that connects the turbine to the alternator above us, which will generate or can be used as a pump to drive either the water from the lower reservoir back up to the upper reservoir or taking it from the lower reservoir through the generator and out uh, where we're making energy. The thing it can do most is its flexibility, its ability to stop and start and provide uh, energy to the system very quickly. It can do it from rest and it can do it from the spin mode that's in just now and deliver it in 30 seconds to full output. 100 kilometres south at the SSE headquarters and control room in Perth, it's clear why that flexibility is so useful. Screens show the highly variable output of SSE's wind farms across the UK and the periods when they have to be switched off completely because their electricity is not needed. Sean Kelly, SSE Hydro Project Manager, says pumped storage schemes work like huge batteries, sucking electricity out of the grid when there's too much being generated and putting it back when needed. The grid needs to be managed in, in a much more flexible way because uh, there is less predictability in the energy generation that is coming in. Uh, the wind output will vary on day to day, solar will vary between night and day and also the seasons of the year uh, and there is less predictability in, in that market. Now, pump storage has a long history of being able to provide flexibility to the grid. So SEC wants to build a huge new pumped storage plant at Corrie Glass in the Western Highlands that could generate twice the electricity of the foyer scheme and store enough water for two or three days of continuous operation. SSE is not alone. The other big Scottish-based utility, Scottish Power, has proposed a major expansion of its pumped storage station deep inside Ben Cruachan. Together, the two projects would cost well over a billion pounds. But SSE and Scottish Power say the huge upfront investment means they can't go ahead unless the UK government changes its pricing regime. The company suggests putting a cap and floor on the price of electricity from pump storage, which would give them confidence of future profits, but limit the potential cost to consumers. The thing with, uh, with uh, pump storage is that it's an infrastructure type investment. It's very high upfront capital cost for a quite an extended period of time, five, six years for, con for construction, uh, but it's got very low operational costs. So it, it, it fits into the model of infrastructure with a long term marginal costing as opposed to a short term. And the current electricity market doesn't give you the revenue return certainty that you need to make that investment decision. The big power companies insist that pump storage can play an important role in balancing supplies in the new renewables era. But they also insist that without a change in the way the government prices these things, the investment they need will not happen. Muir Dickey, Financial Times, Loch Ness.